Around 150 pupils from 17 schools across the Salem area gathered on board Red Funnel's Falcon Ferry for an educational journey around part of the Solent. At sea for around two and a half hours, the children were taken through a variety of workshops looking at the subject of mental health. Our reporter Ben Trepis joined them on board to learn more about the project. Aiming to raise its awareness and reduce the stigma. These 10 to 15 year olds spent the morning out of the classroom exploring the theme of healthy minds. As part of a national initiative to improve mental health in youngsters by 2020, Southampton City Council followed up last year's success with another joint schools venture out onto Solent Waters. The workshops ranged from identifying ways to help looking after yourself to improving young people's experiences online. Councillor Darren Paffey explained why identifying these issues early and helping children preempt such problems is vital. I think there's always a sense that you're the only one facing these issues. Whatever challenge is going on, whether it is stress, whether it is uh, dealing with family issues at home that impact on your studies, um, I think there's always that sense that unless you talk to someone, unless you hear from others who have gone through the same thing, you feel like you're the only one doing it. And part of uh, what we're doing today is breaking the stigma that often surrounds uh, calling something a mental health issue. Uh, it's, it's a nationwide debate that we're having to have about health, it's not just physical health, but it's, it's mental health, but, but many more people than we might expect uh, do uh, suffer from, that do face those challenges. So we want them to, to learn how to talk about it, to learn where they can go to get help, to learn what to do if they are being bullied online, to learn how to uh, you know, relieve that stress and, uh, as they're working up to their assessments or if they're just dealing with other things that are going on in life. We want them to be able to, to have the tools in their hands to be able to say, there's a way out of this, I, I know what to do and I can make things better so that I can really cope with this and face, face the challenges but know that there's a way uh, to overcome them. Arguably the stars of the morning were the ability dogs for young people who were also taking the trip. The team of young dogs provide invaluable day-to-day -day support for people like John, helping him live a fuller life as a result. One of the puppies was 14-week-old Red, named after the project sponsor Red Funnel. The ship's senior master outlined why such a venture is one the company are keen to provide backing for. For Red Funnel, they like to have uh, good, good links with uh, the local communities, um, whether it be um, from the kids at school um, to uh, disabled kids to sponsoring the, 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 the Red Funnel dog for mobility for kids. Um, so um, UKSA is one of our charities that, that, we, that we sponsor. Um, so Red Funnel has a good ethos of trying to be embedded with the community so they understand uh, you know, how they're thinking and so we can move the, the times in that way. With a number of charities and groups supported by the company, Stuart explained how they are chosen and also about how such a day as this provides a very different challenge to the crew on board. It's a totally different day for us, to be honest, um, and that's great because uh, we get to do something different as well. You know, because uh, it's a different challenge looking after the kids and different needs, and they want you here, they want you there. Just pleased that they're all enjoying it. To be fair, we have a, um, a base of charities which uh, we, we look at. Um, the company sort of talk to us as employees. You know how we'd like to spend our charitable money and stuff like that. Uh, it was one of the options. Uh, which we all thought would, was a great idea and we could empathise with, with how, what they did and that sort of so forth, so uh, it was a natural, uh, natural choice to be honest. Ben Trepas, for that Solent.